Today we're going to correct a hammer toe, which is a flexion contraction of this toe here, where this gentleman's toe is riding up in the air and rubbing on his shoe. Well, we're also going to hold it in the right position because his big toe, if we do fix this toe in this area, will push his toe over and it will kink like this. So I'm going to use a smart toe implant to keep the second toe straight. First the incision on top of the toe. Very simple. The incision goes lengthwise like this. And then we'll open it up down into the joint and place the pin implant in this joint. You can see that the joint is bent downwards. I went ahead and transected the extensor tendon, the tendon that straightens the toe out like this, to get down into the joint. And you can see down into the joint here that this is the head of the proximal phalanx. And the way we dissect this is we come down here with the blade around the joint, come up the top here, take those outside ligaments, take those outside ligaments off so we can get to the joint. And now you can see the entire head of the joint here, right there. And that's what we're going to uh, remove to shorten and straighten the toe. I'm going to take a little bit more tissue off this extensor tendon right here, and then uh, transect the head straight across like this, thus shortening the toe. The clip noise that comes right out. And we remove this other piece of skin tissue here and remove the head. And there is the new shaft. There is the new shaft right there where we will drill the hole and put the smart toe in through here so the toe won't move back and forth this way. Now we're going to drill the actual shaft here, the proximal phalanx, for the smart toe, right down the middle. There you go, the full length of the threads. And then the intermediate phalanx right here, we're going to drill about halfway. There you go, there's both portals. You have to work fast because it expands when it heats. So we'll clamp it at the neck with these devices here, and it's ready to be placed in the toe. Here it is, it's angled, and this part will go into the proximal phalanx first. This part will go into the distal. Follow me over to the operating room table. Here's the proximal area here. You can see the portal right there. And I'm going to place it right down into that area. It slips down fine there. And then we're going to put it in the intermediate phalanx area, remove these, and then press. And when I'm finished, you'll see the toe is not only shortened, but it's straight. It cannot move side to side. It cannot bend at that joint. It's nice and straight. When we sew it up, it will stay in that position. And what's wonderful about this, uh, about this procedure is the big toe will not push this joint over like it has in previous procedures when there is no pin. Or when there's an exiting pin and once it's removed, it drifts over after about six months. Here's the final x-ray of the smart toe implant. And as you can see, the device here that went into the proximal phalanx is into the shaft. This area is expanded. The, the body's right at the junction of where I made the bone cut at the proximal phalanx head. And then now the distal arms have spread open at the intermediate phalanx base, thus keeping it at uh, this fused angle here.